I wonder why nobody don't like me. Or is it the fact that I'm ugly? I wonder why nobody don't like me. Or is it the fact that I'm ugly? I leave my whole house and home. My children don't want me no more. Bad talk inside me house they bring. And when I talk, they start to sing. Mama look a boo boo. They shout. Their mother tell them, shut up your mouth. That is your daddy. Oh no. My daddy can be ugly. So shut your mouth. Go away. Mama look a boo boo. They shut your mouth. Go away. Mama Luca Boubou de. Bonjour et bienvenue à Canal 48. You are at Channel 48. My name is Pock and thank you for tuning in on this very sunny day. I'm here today with the phones that are called Boubou phones. Nobody wants them anymore, you know. And um, I'm here to show you the newest Android 12 builds that you can install for this month. And I'm going to talk about the Galaxy S4, the i9505, and we're going to talk about optimized Lineage OS Build 5, Android 12.1. And I also got some requests for uh, showing the Lineage OS 19.1 uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S5, the G900F, and some other models that you can find on the XDA website. Rooms by JDC and of course Calfat for the S5. But before we're gonna start with these two phones that already have their ROMs planted into their brains, uh, we only need to install it or it's in their stomach or maybe. Mm -hmm. um, I first want to see if we can still install Android 13 on the beautiful, oh here you can see it. Uh, the Pine, the Redmi 7A Pine from Xi, yeah, yo, me, yawal. So, ni hao to all my Chinese friends, ni oma, hao. Hmm? So, uh, let me put you on the tripod and let's first start with the Redmi 7A and see if we can still install Android 13. <laughs> So, um, my, uh, as you can see, my Redmi 7A is uh, fully encrypted. We are in a recovery mode. Let me remove those glasses because I don't see anything. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, format data first. We need to format data to get rid of the red lines that we have uh, during an encrypted install. And uh, we're going to uh, reboot back into recovery. Do not install. And then we're going to copy uh, the Pixel 4a Android 13 uh, to the phone. I'm sticking to the uh, 4a because I have most uh, success with the 4a, at least uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S10 and as well for the Redmi Note 4. So let's see where it is. Oh, it should be here somewhere. Okay. Put it on size. Evolution Pixel Tiramuso Beta 2. Okay, so this is the Beta 2, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this is a new build again, but will it as well install? So that is the big question. And we found rare uh, circumstances uh, after the installing of uh, the GSI to the uh, to the phone. Alrighty, welcome back. So uh, the file is copied to the phone, to the Redmi 7A, codename is Pine, and we're just gonna install it. We select image uh, to install Teramisu to the system image. Yeah, easy, easy, darling. Hold on. My S4 is complaining. This is installing. And then we're going to take a look at the four and then the five. Okay. Ladies first. Oh, 
okay so now we're just gonna reboot we don't have to do anything this is a straight up install and then if it's gonna boot one looks promising it's looking good Ta -da. yes yes okay it's booting and did you see that okay we have success the system is installed uh, perfectly fine okay so we're gonna let that boot in meanwhile and we're gonna go to the s4 Alrighty, we're gonna first do a little wipe the Dalvik system data and cut C. That one will arrive soon, don't worry about it. And then we're gonna install the latest V5 that was released for this month by my brother's site. Jawohl, official lineage OS, eh? this, these guys, make no mistake. This is his, uh, you can see, this is his, his private car. Optimized Lineage OS the way he wanted, the way he likes it. His own boot animation and his own little thingies. And we're gonna continue with the S5. We as well gonna wipe here that Dolphic uh, system data cuts here. It was running my own, uh, you see, we arrived there. Uh, blue Lineage OS, Lineage OS Blue. Uh, there seems to be an internal problem. There's always a problem. Yeah. I also have a problem. We all have problems. Uh, Lineage OS 19 by Mr. Kalfat. Okay, this is by Kalfat. It was requested on XDA. People were having problems with it. Okay, you must be on the latest twerp before you even gonna try this. We're gonna close the app. We get started. We skip. Setup offline. Continue. Next, uh, do not use my location, do not send my dias nochtig thing is, don't you do that, skip anyway, uh, we skip, and we are all done okay peeps we just updated to android 13 for the disbelievers i will show that to you about the phone it became a pixel 4a phone so i now have a google phone uh, you see model pixel pixel 4 and android version can you read it should i zoom even more for you android 13 okay so i'm very happy to see that uh the pixel 4a still works out of the box uh on the beautiful uh, Redmi 7A, such an amazing thing to see. And we're just gonna reboot here. And uh, there we go. They both gonna boot, S4 and S5. Let me see if the S5 is gonna boot. Because people were like, it's just hanging. And I'm going to show you what to do if it just hangs. Let's first see the S4 booting up. There we go, S4 is booting up. There you go, Android GDC team. By the way, as well, a big up to Buff and the rest of the GDC team. All that is helping the uh, site. You know, big up to you all. Big up to... Yeah, our friends there at Lineage OS, our family. Somebody come ask me, do you do you do you like Lineage OS? I say I don't like Lineage OS. I love Lineage OS. <laughs> they are like, oh, I say, and I am Lineage OS, cause what you like and what you love, you become. Hey, look, look, look! S five is booting. I was like, it's not gonna boot, but uh, it takes very long. To realize that it needs to boot okay so just give it a little bit of time peeps don't be impatient okay give it a little bit of time to boot yeah let's let's see how it's gonna look it will as well have a nice beautiful black setup screen or it will be skipped just like the jdc 
uh, ROM just now. It went immediately to the desktop. And let's see what's happening here. Okay, we got uh, to the setup screen, uh, the new setup screen by Lineage OS, not available for 18, unfortunately. And I don't know, I must ask one of my developers friends if it's possible to implement this in 18. But why would you do that? 18 is soon obsolete. Well, just because maybe it will not be obsolete, you know. Why should it be obsolete? Not because Lineage OS is updating to 19, the 18 is suddenly dead. We have developers that continue that development, so you don't have to worry. Let me leave that one on, then Calvat can see what we do. A Lineage OS, at least, you know, if things go wrong. Boom, and there we are. Oh, 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 <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the time is not correct. It's only uh, 16.42 at this moment, quarter to five almost. And yeah, peeps, uh, there it is, man. Look at it. Android 12 at your fingertips as well for your boo-boo phone. Mama Luca boo-boo there. You know, sometimes when you're gonna give somebody a S5 these days, they are not happy. They, they get mad, they say, I don't want S5, I want, I don't know what you want, but not S5, and don't, I don't want S4, these are ugly phones. Are you out of your mind? This is not an ugly phone, this is a beautiful phone. You know, you should get a slap for saying these kinds of things. Not in my house, you know, you would never say a thing like that to me. If you're, if you're my, 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 my child or whatsoever, and I'm going to give you S4. Boy, I will teach you a lesson. What kind of brutality is that not to like a S4 or S5? These are beautiful phones, just like the Redmi 7A. Look at it, man. Hmm. Everything is there. You must install your own camera and these things. So when you're going to go do the update, if you connect to the internet, it's going to start updating and it's going to do the do for you. Hey, I saw that once in a while. I get the, oh, but of course you are not connected to the internet. So you must let me know if this works just as good as uh, the other that we, uh, the other builds that we had. But I, I think this one feels even smoother. It feels really, really good. It's as if I'm running KitKat on this phone. As if it's overpowered, you know? As if there is a whole lot left to... Uh, here you have some PHH settings that you can change. Qualcomm features, DOS features, MISC features, IMS features, and customization features. I can shape, I can pack. Wow, you can do so much. Really, Google really thought about what you want and how you would love to see it in Android 13. It will all be possible, you know, to give it your complete own personality that while not using other launchers at all. Um, yeah, I don't think it's uh, for that, but I think the Pixel launcher just got some more extra options in Android 13 so it can you know, serve the user even better. Or maybe that's because of the PHH tweaks. Of course, these tweaks are brought into this uh, ROM. This is not standard. But of course, you're stupid. This is not standard. So, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. So go check it out, peeps. Uh, three lovely ROMs uh, for your S4, S5, and including Android 13 still works on the Pine, so you all can safely update and upgrade. I really love Lineage OS so much now. Well, I already loved it, but yeah, I love this suit even better. Eh? Sometimes you get tired of, of, of the same thing, you know? These wallpapers will last for a long time. This is a, a design that you won't get tired from because it looks stylish it looks good it's timeless you know including these icons as well they are so nicely done you know yeah man so big up to Linux OS as well and big up to Calfat and the JDC team complete team there you know big up to you all not to forget brother buff and all that helped 
including the users, the family. Big up to you. And thank you for still having your S4 so we can still make videos about them. And uh, yeah, have amazing people in the world, you know, creating firmware for us, something that we can be so grateful for. Back to the studio. Okay, peeps, that was it for these three phones. I want to thank Kalfat, I want to thank JTC team, and I want to thank Nippon again for making the 4A in a way that it still works uh, on my Redmi 7A, including my Samsung S10. So these are two phones now as well having Android 13 here at channel 48. If you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel, it's completely free. Um, and leave a comment. I see little comments these days in my uh, in my section. And yeah, I'm wondering, are you guys all, uh, maybe you see a boo-boo in the video and you, you're scared to talk? If that is the case, then don't talk, then it's all good, then you don't have to leave a comment. And then suddenly uh, you're gonna see as well that my comment section will be closed, cause then, yeah, I will just close it down and then I don't have to answer people anymore or talk to anyone anymore. You know, I like to talk to real people in, in real life, so I won't miss out, you know. So if you don't want to leave any comments in my uh, videos or my videos anymore, that is just fine. Then I just know what kind of people I'm, in fact, creating videos for. So uh, stay well. Uh, JDC, once again, thanks. Kalfat, yeah, big up. And Nippon, thank you so much. God bless you all. Bye-bye.